we are now looking forward with delivered focus. I said, we were trading and trading's great. We were working and working's great, but now we're chasing something. Because now we're looking forward to what we could be. How are we going to compete? How are we going to brace the fucking challenge of today? We're looking forward to developing the team of 2024. What you do on this day matters. What you do with this rep, what you do with this drill, what you do with this lift, every last one of them matters. Yes, sir. It's obstacle in front of us. How are we going to attack it? City, um, and you know, our style of play kind of matches that. And a free shot at Sanceria with Stewart. Ball is free. You know, it's just a tough place. It's just a tough environment, tough culture. Well, from the outside looking in, looking at um, the city of Cincinnati, and really, it's, it's, a, it's almost like a state. The, the way uh, this, this whole city is, the way the people are here, uh, the first word that, that comes to mind is pride. That's the things that I prided myself in as a player. That was my edge. Walter Stewart coming on the blitz and just doing a great job for the University of Cincinnati. There's a lot of toughness. You've seen that from, from watching different teams uh, come through here. No matter who the coach was, that's what the city was known for. Number one, it's trusting our training. It's training at a rate that's so high, we have confidence in how we train and how we do things. And number two, it's belief through our connection. It's connected. Those two things are gonna separate us. This place is, you know, obviously, you know, means a lot to me, you know, so having an opportunity to be back here just, you know, in general is a big deal and, uh, you know, having a chance to kind of set that foundation for this whole Power Five thing, um, I, that was a really big deal to me. <laughs> One thing that I always tell the guys is, um, you know, at least when it when it comes to toughness, is that there there's only one way to do this position. Uh, the ball is snapped. It's happening right now. And, you know, it's a thankless job, you know, pushing people around and getting off of blocks and planting the line. It's a thankless job, but there's only one way to do it. Now, toughness is the theme of the week, guys. Toughness is the theme of the week. And I'm just going to touch real base on one thing. One thing. It's going to be embrace all challenges we face. Embrace it. Embrace it. So we got to think, today is just a freaking another chance, man. This is another It's going to be hard. It's going to be adversity that we face. It's what is our mentality going into it? Are we going to embrace it, JY, or are we going to sit back and let it attack us? So today, and really the rest of the week, it's obstacle in front of us. How are we going to attack it? What's the mentality? Embrace that. Love a challenge. Embrace it. Attack it. We have to push you to your absolute highest level. That's our job. What it means to be here is everything to me. Me coming back home, playing with y'all, it makes me love football even more. It makes me love it even more. Um, uh, Luke Kendra is a, an incredibly a tough kid. Uh, and, and not just tough, he cares about the team, but he cares about this city. 
and he loves it. Coach Cardwell and I are, I think we're very close, you know, being being with him for three years. My first year with Coach Cardwell this past season um, has been has been awesome. Um, and I kind of look at him as a, a father figure almost. Him finding his voice throughout this year, speaking up, calling guys out, telling people when they're not doing things the right way, understanding the standard of what it takes to win here in Cincinnati. I mean, he's probably one of the best coaches I ever had, you know, teaching me a lot about life, a lot about football, being how energetic he is. Um, you know, just, just the kind of person he is has just been very grateful for my opportunity to be with him. Man, he is, he is what Cincinnati is. Tough, gritty, and he is nasty. I think toughness in this offseason is everything. Everything we do, you have to have toughness. Be at your best for your crew, for your brother, this program is going to push us to our absolute brink. Right, left. What you see in those guys right now is a pissed off group. That's what's down there right now. And it's not just the strength coaches, it's the players. They are pissed off at how the season ended last year and they can't wait for the season to begin right now. And that's what's being cultivated down there is uh, an irritation for uh, complacency, but also a fight for wanting to win. A lot of times, I like to really tap in when it's when it's the hardest. Get one win! Get one win! Let's go! And, and, and let those guys know, like, hey, just so y'all know, we are doing some things that's really difficult. And guess what? That's just the job description. Let's go, man. Everybody clap it. Clap it. I want you guys to know how much that workout meant to me, man. Get out! Get out! Get out! That's hard now. We all know that's so hard. We have spring ball right in the corner. We have seven more work days. Seven more work days left until spring ball. And to come in like that, a willingness to compete, a willingness to spill it, a willingness to be locked in and have this at the very end. Fantastic job. Great effort. Awesome. Now, now, the only easy day was in the day. I feel a big difference in this team. Um, bringing in 28 new guys, you can already tell they've, they've bought into what we want to be about as a team and, and the culture Coach Sad and Coach, Coach Nico have laid um, and, and what our, you know, our core values will be. Um, and it's, it's, it's a night and day difference from, from where we were this last fall. The tough times will pass, you know, but the, but the tough people will still stick around. The, the toughness will be the glue that keep everybody together because we all going through that suffering together. It is very important for all of us, myself, the team, and the city to have us bring back the glory of what is Cincinnati football. Returning Cincinnati to a winning program um, from when I first started watching UC growing up to um, getting recruited in high school, it means everything to me. Um, it, it's a very important to me to, to return that standard of, of winning culture here at UC um, in a tough and, and nasty program. We got a lot of momentum now a lot of momentum we got to keep building this you're going to have your back up against the wall and what we're trying to teach these young men is how are you going to react in that moment are you just going to give up are you just going to quit or are you going to decide to push the pile for that extra inch and that's what we want to teach our guys and that's what we want them to do be your best all the time if you don't feel good that's being tough and still executing so yes i know we're banged up yes I expect you to be at your best. This place is special. You know, we, we've been through a lot and uh, we've won a lot and we've had a lot of good coaches and players that have come through here and, you know, meeting that expectation every single year is, is always a challenge, but that's just, that's just, that's just what it is. And uh, I take a lot of pride in that.